Mode 4 and Mode 5 can help you to create your bass and solo tracks. First, let's have a look at wind chords. You tap and you scroll to Mode 12. Lead on MIDI channel 1, chord notes on MIDI channel 2. We are interested in this channel 2 here, that's where the chords will go. You tap again, you tap one more time, and now you scroll to mode 1, chords only, and tap again. Connections in the back are the same as in the synchronization with your DAW. When caller goes into MIDI in, the MIDI in of your DAW goes into the MIDI out, and the MIDI out of your DAW goes into the clock input of wind chords. Now it's not a clock we're interested in, but now we're interested in the chords that will come from channel 2 from your DAW. In the DAW we also need to set up a couple of things. This is my voice here on this track. Don't pay attention to this one. I have here a acoustic bass VST setup and it will receive MIDI on channel 7. Here I have a solo hobo track and it will receive MIDI on channel 1. Here I have a piano and it will receive MIDI on channel 2. I have also here created a MIDI track. We want to set up this channel to record MIDI and RPN code from wind chords on channel 16 because we want to arm our chords track on MIDI channel 2 and we want to arm this track so that as we play the chords the MIDI and RPN code is automatically also recorded on this track 16. Very important. The second thing we want to do is make sure in the routing we're sending setting this to send on MIDI channel 16. So now we're first going to record a piano chords track, a simple track. We have recorded about 15 chords on our MIDI chord track. Simultaneously on the MIDI track, as we will call it from now, we have also recorded on this channel 16 MIDI NRPN code that wind chords will use to accommodate the recording of bass tracks and solo tracks or any other additional tracks that you would like to record. So you just want to leave this track alone as it is. Please don't record anything else on MIDI track number 16. On wind chords we now tap and scroll to mode 5 bass assistant with external MIDI chord track and tap again.
Now we are going to record a hobo solo track. So we need to go to Win Chords, tap, and we scroll to Mode 4, Solo Assistance with External MIDI Chord Track. And my DAW I arm the hobo.